you know, you think real estate agents, you know, do a lot of subdivisions and all that sort of stuff, but in the end we're here to, it's a people industry, it's about people, it's a you know, matter of helping people with their dreams, really. How important is it to build a relationship with a real estate agent on the road to buying your first home? Um, I, I probably wouldn't say too much of a, an integral thing. I'd be more, I guess, concentrating people on building a relationship with a mortgage broker or, you know, if, if you can get a relationship with an agent who's going to, I guess, give them the correct advice, if you get the right relationship with a, an agent who's going to be able to help you give comparable prices on property, you know, to say, say, if I had somebody come into my office saying oh, we wanted to buy a three bedroom house in Blackburn, I would be able to sort of show them, okay, well, how much you want to spend? 400. Well, look, you can't buy a, a house in Blackburn for that price. Here's a few options you could look at it, say Forest Hill and another one in Blackburn, Ringwood, things like that. So, a, a real estate agent's generally going to be pushing his own agenda, like these are the houses I have to sell and these are what, you know. I want you to buy, but you know, if you're able to get someone to give you the right advice, then yeah, look, it, it can be uh, very helpful in the journey to buying the first home. Good. Uh, what sort of questions should a first home buyer be asking a real estate agent at an open inspection or over the phone? Um, I guess the first one is is what the asking price is, because that will determine you know what you've got to spend. Um, at an auction, it's a bit harder, especially at the moment where people will quote a price and it goes for 15, 20, 25 percent more. So it can be quite hard. But as long as you sort of have a realistic idea of, of what you know, you're going for. Another good question to ask is you know, what have you sold in the area which compares to this home? So what's the process of having an office submitted on a property? The way we operate uh, for a private sale is exactly that. You, you put a price out there, uh, a buyer you know, gives you their offer and then you negotiate with a vendor, generally the owner wants there and your buyer wants there. And my job basically is to get the two to meet, hopefully on more the side of the vendor, to get the vendor the best result. That's basically what I do. Um, for the, um, the actual process with an offers and stuff though, you've got auctions, there's tender process, there's private sale, there's a lot of different, I guess, options that people use to sell. Auctions, obviously, you need to put the bid in there on the day, but you know, private sales, you've got a bit more of a level of negotiation, which you can usually do a bit better price-wise. What's common mistakes that you see first home buyers making? Listening to mum and dad. <laughs> um, I, I guess for like when I bought my place, it was a bit easier for myself. I looked at the second property I looked at, I bought, um, which was I guess a combination of luck, but also. I'm constantly looking at real estate every day, so as soon as I saw the right thing, I would go have a look at it. First one I saw wasn't exactly what we wanted, second one I saw was, and I made an offer and bought it straight away. What I find a lot of first home buyers do, a lot of people just across the board will see what they want, love it, think it's perfect, but because it's only their first or second or fifth home they've looked at, people have a misconception they need to look at 50 before they find the right thing. If you see what you want, in your price range, if you, you know, if you can do a bit of research to make sure that there isn't going to be, you know, that there isn't, I don't know, a bunch of kids living next door who's going to you know, party all night, or you know, a freeway going through, or you know, you're in a good growth pocket, then it's well worthwhile just going for. So stop listening to everyone, listen to yourself, listen to this, and then just go for it.